Hey everyone, today we're doing a nice long flow where we're kind of, we're focusing on our breath, our body, and how those two can connect to relieve anxiety, to boost your courage, to get a little sweat, of course, but also just to really feel this movement today. It'll help you feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more centered and comfortable going through your day um, beyond or accepting the day that you had before. Um, you don't need anything reserved for this float either. I'll have plenty of modifications, so it's for all levels. And let's get started. All right, let's start at the top of our mat today. Inhale, raise your hands up and into the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Really trying to push your belly button towards your thighs. Inhale, sweep your hands forward and into the sky. Come on to your tippy toes. Engage your core and tuck your pelvis in. Exhale, bend your knees and sweep your hands behind you. Drop your heels, widen your feet so they're a little bit wider than hip distance. Come on to your toes, your feet real quick. Reach forward, inhale. Trust yourself to balance here. Even if you waver, know that you have the courage to try and balance. Drop your heels, fold forward, straighten your knees. Inhale, look forward. Come onto the balls of your feet, bend your knees, and then reach for the sky with your heart and your hands. Tuck your pelvis under. Hold for one and two. Drop your heels, straighten your knees, reach your fingertips backwards, and then place your hands just below, or rather just above your glutes on your lower back, and then just open your heart to the sun. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Really just allow this openness. Exhale, slowly come on back. Bend your knees and fold forward until your rib cage touches your thighs or just about touches your thighs. And you're just gonna rock your hips from side to side. You could drop your head here too if you'd like, or you can look forward. in your knees and then put all of your weight into your left foot draw a line from your ankle to your calf maybe up to your knee and then maybe up to your left inner thigh with your right toes hold here for a moment inhale exhale out of your mouth inhale trust yourself to balance here Exhale, extend your right foot forward, pointing your toes, and then draw a line through center with your right toes back into a warrior three. You can use a chair or a table here if you're feeling wobbly today, and then drop your right toes behind you and your heel, so we're in a warrior one. Inhale, raise your hands up and into the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, engage your core. Reach forward, sit tall. Really kind of push that right hip forward, pull that left hip back so you feel that nice stretch in your quad, in your right psoas. Reach forward with your heart and back with your fingertips. Inhale, back to center. And then open up into a warrior two. Hinge forward, inhale. Reach your right fingertips to the sky. Exhale, reach backwards, reach your left fingertips up, high. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, settle in your warrior two. Straighten out your left leg, pivot on the ball of your right foot and then slowly drop your right knee to the ground. If your knees are a bit sensitive, you could grab a pillow or a blanket, even a sweatshirt will work here. 
Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Extend your right hand. And then all the way up into the sky. Open up like you're drawing the horizon. And then come back to front. Reach for the sky. Over to your right toes. And back. One more time, really just kind of dancing with your body today, feeling yourself open. Allow that courage, that confidence in. Then place your right hand on the ground. Come onto the right balls of your feet and then step over into your side plank. You can drop onto your right knee here with your left knee on top if that's more comfortable for you. You can also extend your feet out to get into that side lunge. However your side lunge is going today, that's how, totally okay. Reach your left hand high, if that's comfortable for you. And then drop your left hand, plank position. Drop your knees, let them touch and kiss the ground. Sit back, child's pose. Roll your spine forward, bend your elbows. Slowly graze your chest against the ground. And then just place your belly, your forearms down in our low cobra pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. In order to trust ourselves, we first have to allow that trust in. We have to allow ourselves to feel trust. You can kind of show yourself that you can trust yourself by trying different things. Frame your chest with your hands, tuck your toes under, bend your knees, tabletop, and then hinge your hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and just tiptoe your toes to meet your wrists. Walk your feet out a little bit wider than your hips, and then bend your knees. Reach your hands up to the sky, come on to ooh, the balls of your feet. Drop your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. Reach your fingertips back. Try and stay tall. If you can't, it's okay. Just drop your heels to the ground. Either way, feel this rootedness, this stability that you can create. Let your heels touch the ground. Reach forward. Straighten your knees and fold forward. Sweep your hands like you're kind of pulling up any stagnant energy from the ground. Raise it to the sun to heat up, to get energized. Come onto the balls of your feet if you can. Inhale. Exhale, straighten your knees and bring your heels to the ground. Draw a line to the sides of your body and just start to sway your hips. Almost like almost like you're dancing in the rain. So you're gonna reach your hands up and into the sky and then kind of comb out your aura to the sides of your body. Reach forward, inhale. Exhale, comb the sides. Inhale, raise that stagnant energy. Let it transmute into positive, into courage, into confidence as you streak it against your aura. Last time. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, drop to the sides. All your weight goes into your right foot. Draw a line up through center, your right ankle, calf, maybe your knee, maybe your inner thigh. Hold for a moment. Inhale. And exhale. Feel free to start to move your body now. Move your hands. Dance with your torso. Extend your left foot in front of you, point your toe. Doesn't matter how high it gets. It could just kind of be grazing the ground and that's beautiful too. I just want you to feel this balance that you can create in your right foot. And then bend your left knee and point your left toe backwards, warrior three. Again, it's okay if your left toes are just touching the mat, maybe a little bit higher or in line with your back. Touch your toes to the ground, 
and settle your left foot in warrior one. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, reach forward with your heart, back with your fingertips. Inhale, raise your hand. Exhale, reach forward with your heart. Inhale, raise your hands. Last one, exhale, reach forward with your heart. And then open up into your warrior two. Inhale, reach forward with your left fingertips, hinge over your right leg. And then reach backwards with your left hand, right hand in the sky. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach forward. Last one, exhale, reach back. Straight in your right knee, pivot on your left toes and just place your left knee on the ground. Left hand on the ground, reach your right hand forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one, inhale forward. Exhale back. And then frame your right foot with your hands, tuck your left toes under. Step back, plank position. Roll your hips up to the sky and back into plank. Up and in the sky and into plank. All your weight goes on your left hand and your left foot. Again, you could kind of stack your feet here in the side plank or you could stack your knees for an easier plank. You'll still feel it in your obliques so long as you pull your hips away from the ground and cinch your rib cage. Inhale and exhale. Again, feel free to dance here. Move with your body. Invite some beauty, some flow. And then place your right hand on the ground, plank position. We're gonna hold here for three breaths. Feel this power that you have to hold yourself here. You can even place your knees on the ground. That's totally okay. One more deep breath. And then let your knees touch the ground. Bend your elbows. Place your heart and then forearms down in our low cobra pose. Let your shoulders drop. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Feel the power of your breath, your heartbeat. And just acknowledge that these things are yours. This power is yours. Have the courage to claim them. Frame your chest with your hands, tuck your toes under. Now you can either come through tabletop like this or use the strength of your triceps and your core to lift yourself right into plank and then downward dog. Tiptoe your feet to meet your wrists. Bend your knees and raise your hands high. Come onto the balls of your feet. Tuck your pelvis under, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, drop your shoulders. Let your heels touch the ground. And then all your weight goes into your left foot. We're gonna go through that sequence again, just a little bit faster. So draw a line from your ankle, shin, maybe your knee, maybe your thigh, inhale. Exhale, point your right toes in front of you and then flex your toes. Point, draw a line through center, back into your warrior three. Find your balance here. Right toes meet the ground, warrior one. Inhale, reach forward with your hands and you're kind of leaning over now your left leg. 
and then pull back with your hands and your heart. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, reach forward. We're reclaiming our confidence, our power. Pull back. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, pull back. Oh, and open up into your warrior two. Inhale, reach forward with your right hands. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, straighten your left knee, all ten, and all ten toes facing towards me. And then place your hands on your hips. Use your core to guide yourself into a sort of a tabletop back. Reach all 10 fingers to the ground, but don't quite touch it. Just hover. You're gonna reach, draw a line through center from the ground, through your heart space, up to the sun with your left hand. And then all the way back. Draw a line up with your right hand. Look up, see the sun, that power in your fingertips. And then all the way back down. Up with your left and down drawing that line from stability to power and energy and you're somewhere in between just gaining the benefit of both having the courage to claim both stability and power and confidence and happiness Slowly roll up to center, point your right toes outwards, and then we're gonna come into our warrior two on your right side. Reach your hands in a T position, forward hinge with your hips. Reach your left hand high. Inhale, exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, reach forward, last one. Exhale to center, pivot on your left toes. High lunge. And then just walk your left foot in a little bit so we can get to that warrior one position. So your heel and your ankle, um, your heel and your entire foot is on the ground. Reach forward with your hands. Pull that power back. Reach forward and pull back. Reach forward, pull back, last one. Reach forward, pull back. We're gonna go in reverse, so all your weight goes into your right foot. Come onto your tiptoes, and then slowly hinge forward, warrior three. Two breaths here. And from our warrior three, find your balance first, and then bend your left knee through center, reach forward with your toes, flex your toes, point, and then bring your knee in, drawing a line downwards to the ground. So kind of in that reverse way, raise your hands up and into the sky, exhale, fold forward. Walk your feet out a little bit farther than hip distance. Look forward, sink your hips low, low, low. Tuck your pelvis in, bend your knees, come onto the, to your tiptoes. Reach your hands high, inhale. Exhale, reach backwards and hinge forward. You got this, inhale, one more. Woo, raise your hands high. Exhale, hinge forward, reach back. We're gonna hold here just for two more breaths. Drop your heels 
all your weight goes into your left foot. Draw a line up through center, ankle, shin, maybe your knee, again, maybe your thigh. And then you're gonna reach forward with your right toes, point. Engage your core here. Again, maybe you're just grazing the ground. That's beautiful. Feel your balance. Bend your knee. Shift backwards, warrior three. Guide your right toes to the ground. Warrior one, feet. Raise your hands high. And this time with your fingertips, you're gonna hinge forward. Inhale, slowly hinge back up and forward. Up and forward, engage your core. Up and forward, open up into a warrior two. And you're going to reel your hands back and forward. Windmill your hands back and forward. Last back and forward. Straight in your left knee, and I'm just gonna pivot, I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. All 10 toes forward again and hinge forward. Use your core to stabilize your spine here. And just kind of imagine that you're pressing on a shelf below you. Just as we did before, draw a line from the earth to the sun. And back on down. Draw that line up. And down. Up. And down. Feeling that connection, that energy line. between the earth and the clouds. Feeding you with its magic. Slowly bend your knees, point your toes outwards, and this time we're gonna come into a sumo goddess squat. So sink your hips low, really kind of pull your adductors inward so your butt's not out it's kind of right under your uh, chest raise your hands up into the sky inhale exhale straight in your knees inhale bend your knees exhale straighten inhale bend exhale straighten inhale bend last one exhale straighten Good. Now, I gotta remember which side I was on. Um, okay, so you're gonna pivot towards your right foot into that warrior one on your right side. Reach your right hands up and into the sky. Hinge forward. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Relax your shoulders. Engage your core. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, hinge forward, frame your right foot with your hands and step back into your plank position. We're gonna hold for three breaths. Again, you could drop your knees here, coming into a sort of extended tabletop position, that's totally okay. Two more breaths. Good. On your next exhale, you're gonna walk your feet just to kind of the edges of your mat, bend your knees, and walk your hips back, 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 maybe even your hands a little bit into sort of a bear pose. Hinge forward, plank position. Exhale, bend your knees, sit back. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, hinge back. Inhale, forward plank. And you're gonna 
put all your weight into your left foot, I mean your left hand, and then you're just gonna twist, keeping your feet where they are. Raise your left hand up and into the sky. Again, you could drop your left knee here if that's a little bit more comfortable for you. Look down to the ground, feel that stability. Drop your right hand and extend your left plank on the other side. Draw a line to the ground with your left hand. Raise your right. We're gonna do this two more times on each side. Feel this stability and pivot. Again, you could drop your bottom knee in each plank if that's more comfortable for you. Last one on your left side. And on your right. Back to center. Bring your knees to the ground. Take a deep breath, sit back on your heels. Raise your hands high. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Raise your left hand up and into the sky and just pull your left rib cage to your left side as you're pulling your, uh, you're kind of reaching away from your left with your left fingertips. And switch sides. And come back to center. Tuck your toes under, plank position. Bend your knees, sit back. Inhale, hinge forward, plank position. You could do this with your tabletop too. Tabletop, sit back into sort of extended puppy and then forward into table instead of plank to bear. Two more. Last one, either through plank or tabletop, you're gonna guide your chest to the ground and into your sphinx pose. You can bend your knees here if you'd like and kind of do side to side windshield wiper uh, type <laughs> movement with your feet here. Let your shoulders go and shoulder blades just drop down your back. Frame your chest with your hands, guide your chest, your heart away from the soil and into a downward dog. We're gonna hold here for two more breaths. Start to raise your left foot up and into the sky, even if it just kind of grazes the ground, anywhere from the ground to the sky, and just hold for a moment, feeling that extension, that stretch through your right leg. And know that even though there's space between your feet right now, between the places that connect you to the earth every day, there is still a connection. Bend your left knee, draw a line through center, step your left foot forward, high lunge. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, raise. Exhale, hinge. All your weight goes into your left foot. Warrior three or whatever version you're comfortable with today. Bend your right knee through center. Extend your right knee forward, uh, your right foot forward. Place your right foot on the ground and you're just gonna rock your hips. <laughs> kind of like you're dancing. You're at home alone, probably, or at least in a room, you know. It's just us, 
just feel your body. Start to dance. Let yourself get a little crazy. Maybe add your hands if you'd like. Just let go a little bit. You can draw little half circles. Last one. Back to center. Raise your hands up and into the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees. Come onto your tiptoes. And slowly, slowly rise up, raising your hands high. Ooh, engage your core. Relax your shoulders. Reach backwards. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Guide your heels to the ground. Fingertips on the soil. Step back, plank position. Bend your knees and downward dog. Raise your right leg up and into the sky. Again, feeling that space, yet that connection between your feet. And then bend your right knee, step forward, high lunge. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Pull that energy back and sit tall with your fingertips facing behind you. Inhale, just hinge your heart forward. Exhale, draw a half circle with your hands to in front of your vision and raise your hands high. Last one, exhale, reach back with your fingertips. Draw a half circle as you come to stand tall. All your weight goes into your right foot this time. Warrior three. Again, maybe your feet are just grazing the ground. Bend your left knee and then extend your left foot forward. And draw a line through center, coming back onto the ground. My balance is not the best today. <laughs> okay, rock your hips from side to side. Let's twist so you can see me. Raise your hands. I know might, you might feel a little silly. Some people do and you don't really let go a lot. But I want you to start to flow. We're gonna bring your right hip out and raise your left, uh, raise your right hand. Right, left hip, left hand. Right hip and left. Two more. Good, back to center. You're gonna slightly bend your knees. Bring your right knee center. Sweep your right hand in front of you and then open up into goddess, okay? Sweep your left hand as you bring your left knee to point towards your right and open, just like that. We're gonna do that a couple times on each side. Feel this openness. Good. Really create a bigger space for your magic and your power and your courage to manifest. Almost imagine that you're touching all areas of your aura, of your safety bubble. Encouraging it to grow and become more flexible. Good, straight in your knees. Point all 10 toes forward. Place your hands on that imaginary shelf. Reach your right hand up and into the sky. And center. You're welcome to also bend your knees here. Whatever's more comfortable.
Last one. You're gonna place your hands on the ground and then jump back into a plank or step back into a plank position. Bring your knees to the ground, sit back, child's pose. Slowly roll up to sit. Cross your ankles and then sit on your butt. We're just gonna stretch side to side. Place your right hand on the ground, left hand high, and just gently twist. If you're not really feeling anything, you can walk your right fingertips out a little bit more. Twist and then reach your left hand to the back of your left uh, not your left head, but your head. Back to center. Drop your left hand. Raise your right. Again, if you're not feeling it, you can walk your left hand out a little more and place your right hand on the back of your head. Back to center. You're gonna place the bottoms of your feet together and then walk your hands forward as much as you are comfortable with until you find like a, a nice little stretch for yourself. You can even place your hands on your knees or use the strength of your quads to push your knees away from your body. Slowly roll up to sit. Bring your knees together and just gently come to lay on your back. Okay, you're gonna lift your hips up and into the sky. All your weight goes into your left foot and you're gonna raise your right leg. Draw a line to the sky as you straighten your right knee. Drop your right foot down to the ground, hover over the mat, and then raise your hand, leg. Drop your leg and slowly rise. Draw a line down and up. Last time, down and up. Release your hips to the ground. Cross your knees as much as you're comfortable, you can even cross like your ankle over your left knee if that's comfortable. And you're just going to slowly twist to your left side. back to center root your right foot down onto the ground and slowly hinge into your glute bridge pose extend your right leg long 
uh, your left leg, I'm sorry, extend your left leg long, up and into the sky, and draw that line to the soil. And up, and down. If you don't want to come into glute bridge, you could just lay on your back and extend your left leg high. Two more. Lower your hips to the mat, cross your knees, and slowly twist over to the right side. You might notice that one side's tighter than the other. Just allow this, understand that trying to different sides hold different energies. Our left side tends to be the side for holding, caring, nurturing, protective energies, while the right tends to hold more outgoing, work type, like overworking type of energy. Slowly come back to center and just rock from side to side. You could bring your knees to your chest. You can even take hold of the outsides of your feet in happy baby pose and rock from side to side. drop your feet to the ground you could come to lay for our last couple of breaths or you could come to sit whichever one's more comfortable for you today and take a deep breath in through your nose out of your mouth in through your nose out of your mouth. Two more. And we're just going to stay here feeling our breath for a little while. Know that going through your day, you have the power, you have the magic to be courageous. To show your confidence. And it's okay if it wavers during the day, during each moment, during each interaction. Just know that you do have the power of confidence, of courage. One last breath here, in through your nose, out of your mouth. Thank your body today for becoming part 
of this magical line that connects the soil to the sun. This powerful line of energy that you're part of, that you're right in the middle of. And I thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you like flows like this, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.